hell were we talking about? Uh, male and female Pokemon, Nuzlocke, first come, first serve, is if you want to attack oriented, defense oriented. Oh, yeah, at that yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were, um, if you're doing a Nuzlocke and somehow you ended up with all the same of one, like, element of Pokemon. Oh, that would be really neat. It's like, how'd you manage that? Well, I let everyone that wasn't that element die. <laughs> So now you have Pyromaniac Nuzlocke. <laughs> Pyromaniac Nuzlocke. Yep. Oh, God. I find it funny how I'm getting the flame. I'm gonna get the flame red DS, and I love fire. <laughs> okay. I was this. I was a stupid idiot that had bottle rocket wars with people. I mean, that's 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 dangerous. You shouldn't have done that. High five, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like my stepbrother, he would get a, like a shit ton of bottle rockets for uh, 4th of July, and he wouldn't use them all, and it's like, let's go out in the street and do this. We would each stand at one end of the street with a couple packs of bottle rockets, and go at it. Folks, I do not encourage nor do I endorse this behavior. Neither do I. Don't do it. It's dangerous. <laughs> you could severely injure yourself. Yep. You could shoot an eye out. <laughs> I have a Red Rider BB gun, actually. Oh, nice. I also have a CO2 one, which is my, uh, which is a little handgun that looks uh, too real. I was, I bought it from a Cabela's, and there's a security guard there. And when I bought it, he's like, "You should really be careful with that. That looks really real." <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't have any BBs for it, but I like it. Ugh. Yeah. It's nice and heavy. Uh, shelter. You think you can survive against Tupnup? <laughs> Tupnup will own you. And then I also have a, uh, bo both my Red Rider and my, uh, hand and my CO2 are like actual BB guns, and then I have one airsoft gun, and it's a FAMAS, which is downstairs somewhere. A FAMAS? It's an assault rifle. Ah. It's a French, uh, it's a French bullpup design assault rifle. Supersonic. Oh. And then, you know, I can, uh, th th those are some of my tools for deterring, uh, people, because... The orange cap off of my FAMAS is gone, and the well, I can't use a Red Rider because it doesn't. It's too small to be a lever action. But my handgun is definitely real enough looking in the dark. And then you know I have my broadsword. Yeesh, <laughs> broadswords. And my 12-inch uh, Special Forces survival knife. Yeah. Don't try and break into my house. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna stop making fun of Jake now, <laughs> since he has things that can kill me easily. Yeah, I need to sharpen my knife. I haven't sharpened it since I got it, and they don't—they don't ship sharp knives from where I order them. I bought my I bought my brother a knife for his uh, for Christmas last year. It was the only thing he wanted. He wanted a boot knife, and I bought him one. And uh, when I got it, I opened it up to look at it, and I'm like, I might not give this to him <laughs> because it was a really nice knife. It was like twenty bucks too, which was ridiculous. But yeah, my the broadsword I have is just a replica, but run at a robber with it. Might scare him. Yeah. Especially because it's my house has a tight hallway in it, so if I if they try and come near my room, I can just use the tight hallway to my advantage. Just be like, "Sup, dude? What's ya?" Or just shoot their eye out. You know, I can do that. Yeah. You know what? I'm tired of. Tupnup only having Vine Whip, which only has about 15 uses. Or is it TM case? So, even though it's not the best move ever, 
it's another attack, which I desperately need. Yeah. Top nup. Top nup. Top nup. Top nup. Top nup. At least until he gets Razor Leaf. <laughs> Here, let me shove the CD into your forehead. Learn the move! Here, top nup. Eat this. And, and just like your Pokemon just sitting there, even though you, it can't speak English, it's like, that's not how it works, you asshole. <laughs> Learn through osmosis. We can't do that. Just imagine it really hard. <laughs> Pardon me. And sudden trainer battle. <laughs> so the one thing that's gonna... I'm noticing one drawback to this Nuzlocke rod is that I don't have an electric type. I don't... I really want an electric type. Because Tentacool just proved how annoying he can be. Bullet Seed! Douche. There you go. It's super effective. Hit two times. Yep. Only has 10 power, but... Against a water type! Yep. <laughs> I, uh, like, I imagine uh, he's shooting coconuts. Uh, probably with a mouth that size. Because it, it lo they look like coconuts, not seeds. Yeah. Oh, our horsey's for a slaughter. Uh, my my buddy, who's uh also my floor lead at work, a singer in my band, and a whole bunch of other things. He's in uh like sound design and sound engineering and what that in college right now. And he told me that uh he, he told me about some of the stuff they used in uh sound stages for like big budget movies to like do certain sound effects, like the wall of skulls in Lord of the Rings that falls. Yeah. Uh, apparently was a uh, blanket wrapped in walnuts or something, and they just like tipped it over, <laughs> and they layered a bunch of other stuff on top of that. But the base was a, like a bunch of walnuts falling. Wow! And it's like, wow! I would have never thought of that. I would have thought like go buy a couple of uh, fake skulls and roll them. Yeah. And then just kind of like duplicate it. Yeah, uh, uh, the, the uh, blaster sound that you hear in Star Wars. Apparently, that was super tight, like metal wire that was hit with a metal object, hmm. or something to that effect. I can see that. You put wire under tension, and you hit it with something metal. It's going to make an interesting sound. Yep. Die already. Stupid tentacle. Yeah. Stop having so much health. <laughs> no. no. I'm the be I am the beginning of Lieben. Not constrict. Now, whatever will I do? Blah. <laughs> Blah. Da. Yep. Hey, Amy Rose is 15. She's catching up. Woo! Star you? Oh crap! Wait, no, you don't have uh, you don't have water poles. I'm safe. Find what? <laughs> uh, yeah. Although I really want to star you. I, they're they're water Pokemon I didn't use very often, but the one time I did use it, I was really impressed by it. Yeah, they are pretty impressive. Yeah. Rest. That will be useful. Never. <laughs> Only time that's useful is if you have if you load up on those sleep curing berries. Mm. Even then, it's only useful once per uh, battle. Yeah. Machop. Hmm. I have the perfect thing for you. Go Sylph. Go show this wall of muscle who's boss. Machop ain't a wall of muscle yet. 
Nope, but these are the closest thing we'll see at this stage in the game. Confusion! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I think Buchan's made of more muscle than him. Probably. But it's all hidden underneath that fur. That hair. Fur, hair, whatever it is. Yep. Although that seismic toss kind of made me realize I'm not as invincible as I thought I was against fighting types. Yeah. Of course, seismic toss deals damage based upon level, so... You are a fisherman. Hello, <laughs> stranger. I can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. You're a fisherman. Yep. Yes, I'm a fisherman. What kind of Pokemon do you got? Oh, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Let's battle. Okay. Throw out your grass type thing. You can use all water types, and he throws out all fire types. Yeah. Shit. So I'm a fisherman. All right. Cool. Yeah. Take a look at my water fire Pokemon. What? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I got bored and started breeding some stuff together. <laughs> got some interesting results. <laughs> just imagine some hillbilly out in the mountains just like forcing a Charmander and a Squirtle to do terrible things. <laughs> he said it, folks, not me. Uh, will this growth help me at all? No. A little bit? Yes. Thank you, Grass, for being special. Because <laughs> throwing seeds at an enemy is a special attack, right? Sure. Uh, bullet seed. <laughs> one shot by... You're one shot by a ten attack power move, dude. How does that make you feel? Yeah. Find what... Oh no, you're raising your physical defense. Whatever shall I do? Special defense fine whip. Or special attack. Go Tupnup. You are quickly outleveling everything else. <gasps> Acid, yes. Noise. We'll keep growth, because it's been useful. I forget if acid is I think acids f or poisons are physical in this generation, maybe. Oh, We'll still keep you around. Growth is useful. Sleep powder. I have I have silver sleep powder. All my sleep powder needs. So we have now have acid, which is useful against I forget which types. Oh, that's right, pure grass. And I think that's the only one I can remember. Hmm. I also don't remember what acid is good against. Well, I don't poison, either. Poison types in general. They're one of those weird types that I can never remember because the only one that makes sense is the pure grass type being weak to him, but in Gen 1, the only pure grass type was Tangela. Hmm. Every other grass type is a grass poison. So I just looked through all my uh, videos on SLG, and uh, my most viewed one is our first uh, duel in Magic the Gathering. Oh, wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Indeed, very interesting. Uh... I shouldn't do this to you, BDU, but you're kind of my best option. Okay, focus energy. This could be bad if I don't one-shot him. BDU. Magnitude 10. Or you can use a poison sting. Okay. I was waiting for the poison to kick in. I was Me just too. waiting for it. Like, one damage. Ha! Poisoned. Crap! Yep, that's usually how it goes. Yep. Litter and female. Oh well. Taste the might of my magnitude. Rank 5. At least it's not rank 4. Yeah. Oh no. My defense. Whatever shall I do? Point. Oh no! Not poison point! <laughs> What? Nidorans have an ability called Poison Point, or they can have an ability where upon physical contact they can poison you. Oh, 
Bullshit. Yeah, so I should have just used a magnitude. Oh well. Yo. Yes, we like to rest in your room. Thank you, kind lady. Who doesn't do terrible things to us in our sleep? Well, of course she doesn't. But true, truthfully, are they really terrible? Nah. All depends. Depends on what our official art looks like. So right now we're just seeing the overworld sprite, and we've seen the differences you can have between the <laughs> overworld sprite and the uh, actual battle sprite. Uh, later on the ship. Oh, the strong silent type. Bartibus will be you one day. Bartibus will become better than you in every single way. Just give up on life now. It's hard to find out who's gonna be your, like, archetype Pokemon. <laughs> who's, who's going to be your nut? Yeah. Although, Tough Nup's like doing really good right now, but I like Bartibus, even though I haven't raised him any. I need to get back on that, because he learns World Out really, really soon. Yeah. But it's just like... You've got, you've got to have that one Pokemon that it's just, like, devastating to lose. Oh yeah, well right now I'd be pretty devastated about losing BDU, because, man, he's a house. <laughs> I mean, he's equipped to take out electric Pokemon, flying Pokemon, bug Pokemon, poison Pokemon. Um, I guess that's about it. But, oh, and normal <laughs> Pokemon, because he can take a hit like a champ. Indeed. Magnitude! Blacker Darker Dark! <laughs> super effective. Come on. Super, super. Two more levels and you'll be a graveler. L just go down like three doors. There's a lady there, she does things, but she heals them. Just, just go that way. <laughs> Crap, not a youngster. No. He's, he's just got a singular Pokemon. You can do it. Come on. Bomb disposal unit. Because there's no good Pokemon I have for him. He knows Peck, which means Sylph can take him down. He knows Double Kick, which means he can take down my BDU. But my BDU has high attack. Yeah, horn attack. That would ruin Sylph's day. Because yeah. I don't think flying is resistant against flying. I don't think so. Level 16. Please learn something useful. Nope. Ah. Uh, yeah. Of course not. Amy's only attacks are. Scratch and Sand Slash. Or Sand Attack. Scratch, and that's it. That's, that's the only attack she has. Defense Curl and Sand Attack. I mean, sand Attack's useful, but... Ooh, Brick Break. Brick Break. Nice. We can actually teach that to, uh... Boochine there. Boochine. Uh... See if it's any good, though. Boochine, True Strike, Snap Punch, Greased Lightning! <laughs> 75 power, that's pretty good for this early on. I was about to see a monk in action the other day when I was going to do Hawk Manor, but we couldn't get a party going. Oh, lame. Based upon weights, you're still useful. Actually, you know what? Uh, no. Yes. Bartibus. Learn Brick Break. What? You'll fight all my normal Pokemon. Brick Break, because that makes sense. There we go. <laughs> Bartos can now break bricks with his fist. Just imagine that, if you will, viewers. A Jigglypuff out and out about on a sunny day, sees some bricks, and then just chops them in half, and continues on. Yeah, it's probably turning into the Jigglypuff from the show. Ugh, not the Jigglypuff from the show. Just need to give it a marker. 
No, it will not give a Sharpie at all. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. No, 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 no. Why? What if all your jig? What if all Bar uh, Bartimus wants to do is draw and sing? Well, too bad. He's gonna learn Hyper Voice and Hyper f and Hyper Beam. Can you imagine <laughs> what Hyper Beam would do on a normal Pokemon with same type attack bonus at 150 power? <sighs> yeah.